Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to create a Flask web app and then we are going to uh, access YOLO v object detection in browser with the help of our Raspberry Pi 4 camera module. As you can see I have connect Raspberry Pi 4 camera module with our Raspberry Pi 4. Okay. So before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay, friends, thank you so much, and let's get started. So, friends, now we are going to move on our Raspberry OS Bull size 64-bit version. Okay. So, friends, now we are on our Raspberry OS Bull size desktop machine, a 64-bit version. Okay. So first, you need to install latest OpenCV and YOLO v on Raspberry OS Bull size 64-bit version. I will mention video link, watch video and install YOLO v and OpenCV on bull size 64 bit version. Okay. Then for today's session, I have created here a repository and the repository name is YOLO v Flask. Okay. So I will mention the link. You need to simply copy and paste link inside the browser. Then go to the code, copy the link from here, copy and we are going to simply clone our repository. So open terminal and run the command git space clone and paste the link of our repository and just hit enter it will clone our repository now we have our repository now we want to go inside our repository so our repository name is yolo v5 flask okay so just hit enter if i run ls command over here as you can see we have here index.html file so what we want to do first we want to create a templates folder and inside the templates folder we want to move our index.html so let's create a templates folder so mkdir space templates okay mkdir space and our folder name which is templates that's it now we want to move our index.html so run the command mv space index.html and our folder name which is templates just hit enter if i run ls command as you can see right now there is no index.html because we move our index.html inside templates so if i run cd templates cd space templates if i run ls command as you can see now index.html is basically inside our templates folder now we have done now we want to simply open our tony python id okay so what we are going to do we are going to simply open our tony python id so go to the menu programming tony python id and it will open our tony python id then go to the file click on open then we are going to go inside our repository which we just cloned so yellow if i flask camera.py click on ok it will open our camera.py then go to the file again click on open then main.py it will open our main.py so first what we want to do we want to mention our raspberry pi 4 camera flip frame okay so here inside get frame function after where we read success image after that we need to mention like this way image this is for only if you working with raspberry pi 4 camera module then we need to flip the frame suppose if you working with usb web camera then there is no need to mention a flip uh, cv2 dot resize flip method okay simple so image image is equal to cv2 dot flip method and inside that we need to mention our image and minus one for flipping the camera frame simple so image is equal to cv2 dot flip image space minus one that's it now we have done now if i simply save the code and now we are going to simply run our main.py that's it so just click on run it will start our flask web app okay so as you can see 127.0.0.5000 this is what our port so simply open browser and inside that we are going to mention our ip so 127.0.0.1 colon 5000 just hit enter and as you can see friends this is the live inside the browser we are successfully accessing our raspberry pi 4 camera module as i mentioned you can simply access usb web camera also so i'm going to stop the code and here without without flipping image for raspberry pi 4 camera without flipping image what will happen the main.py if i run the code if i refresh the browser as you can see the frame is upside down simple so that's why 
if you working with Raspberry Pi 4 camera module, you need to mention here this method cv 2flip method. If you are working with USB web camera, then there is no need to mention cv 2flip method. That's it, simple. So we have done. We are successfully accessing our Raspberry Pi 4 camera module inside our web browser. Now what we want to do? We want to mention our YOLO V5. So what we are going to do? We are going to simply visit YOLO V5 PyTalk website. As you can see, pytalk.org. Okay. Then just scroll down scroll down and here we have here as you can see we have here an example so what we are going to do we are going to simply copy the module input talk open tony python id and inside the camera.py here it is we need to paste the module input talk okay then if i scroll down and if i make like this way then we need here the model okay this just copy this line model line copy it open tony python id and again inside the camera.py here we need to simply press ctrl v this will copy the model okay as you can see it will automatic load yolo v5 model with the help of torque hub dot load okay so save it and now what we want to do just scroll down and this is what our final image where we flip our frame so here what we want to do we want to create a new variable so results results is equal to our model our model variable which is our yolo v5 model okay so model result is equal to model and inside that we need to simply pass our image okay then what we want to do we want to create another new variable which is a so a is equal to here we want to import numpy okay so import numpy as np import numpy as np then just scroll down and here we, what we are going to do we are going to mention np np dot squeeze np dot squeeze and inside that we need to mention results okay so inside that what we are going to mention results dot render like this one results dot render results is equal to model dot image the model which we call here okay the model variable is basically our yolo v5 model which basically automatically load with the help of torque hub dot load simple so then a is equal to np dot squeeze so we import here numpy so a is equal to np dot squeeze then we need to mention our results variable then results dot render that's it simple done so if i save the code and if i go with the main dot pi and if i run the code main dot pi it will start our web application as you can see now it will basically download the yolo v5 module okay using cache found in home pi cache as you can see here it is as you can see it's downloading by default model which is yolo v5 s dot pt okay as you can see it's downloading so friends done now we need to simply open our link a flask web link inside our browser okay so if i refresh the link so friends as you can see our yolo v5 is detecting object there is two person and one chai okay so we are successfully create a flask app and and with the help of flask app we can simply access our object detection inside the browser okay so i hope you learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye